G'day, Jonathan here from Dawson Heating and Cooling. Today we want to give you guys a few tips on how to get your evaporative cooling ready to turn on for summer. Firstly, we'll quickly run through how to identify the taps outside. This tap here is your normal garden tap. Uh, this tap here is your drain, uh, drain point. And this one here, this is a valve. This is actually the valve to allow you to open. That's in the open position now, or close the water flow to your evaporative cooler. You can always identify if it's in the on position when the actual handle is in line with your pipe work. Now we're going to quickly run through what steps you need to take to get the system ready to be turned on for summer. First we want to make sure this valve is always going to be closed anyway, it's the, garden, it's the garden tap. Secondly, this is your drain tap. You want to make sure this is closed off all the way. Once that's closed, we then open up your isolation valve and you'll hear the water start to go into the system. That's now filled the system up with water and the evap cooler is ready to be turned on for use during summer. Okay, so now the water supply is turned back onto your evaporative cooler. What we do is we're going to go back inside, it's ready to turn on. First thing we want to make sure of is that we've turned the system back into the cooling mode. It's probably still on heating mode after winter. Turn it into the cooling mode and then hit the on button and the system's now ready to go. Thank you.